Hola, yo soy Angélica and welcome to a new video of Spanish for all. In today's video you will be learning about how to use the words ya, todavía, no, and eh, aún no, plus de preterito perfecto in Spanish. So if you want to learn how you can use them in Spanish, let's start. We use the preterito perfecto with the words ya, aún no, and todavía no to express if una acción se ha hecho o no. That is to say, if we have done or finished an action. So, in this case, I have this phrase here. He terminado de comer. I have finished eating. In this case, if I want to place ya, like I already finished, I have already finished eating. So, how would, in which place would you write it? In which place would you place ya, aún, o todavía no. Y aquí tengo la respuesta. Vamos a ver en dónde se coloca. Actually, we have two places where we can write them. So, let's see. The first one is at the beginning. I can say, ya he terminado de comer. Or I can say, todavía no hemos terminado de comer. Or aún no han terminado de comer. I can place them at the beginning or at the end of the phrase. What is the most important? It's like between these two, between the verb e, o hemos, o an, or as, and the past participle, the verb in el participio, we cannot write anything here in the middle. No, okay? For this reason, and then here we have the complement. For this reason, we can write ya, or todavía no, o aún no, here or at the end, for example, he terminado de comer ya, or ya he terminado de comer. Vamos a mirar con más detalle cómo podemos utilizar la palabra ya más el preterito perfecto. Entonces tenemos, con la palabra ya, uh, nosotros lo que estamos diciendo es que la acción está hecha, ya está terminada. Además, estamos confirmando que ya se hizo, that is to say. Hemos hecho la tarea. That means that we've already done the homework. And then we have, ya han visitado Colombia. So they've already visited Colombia. La segunda opción que tenemos es, todavía y aún no. Actually, both of them are very similar. We can say like almost synonyms. So we, can, we have this. The most important, if you are using aún no or todavía no plus the preterito perfecto, you are saying that you haven't done the action, but you have the intention of doing it, okay? No lo hemos hecho, pero lo haremos, okay? Aquí tenemos, todavía no he hecho ejercicio. Aún no hemos terminado clase. Aún no he grabado muchos videos. Because I've been very busy. Okay, ahora tengo un ejercicio práctico. Let's try to do this. Let's look at my agenda for this week. Tenemos planear clase, hacer ejercicio, limpiar mi habitación y calificar las tareas de mis estudiantes. As you can see, I have done some of them. Ya he hecho algunas de ellas. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Look, some of them are positive and others are negative. Based on that, I want you to try to use ya, todavía no, aún no, and I will be back with the answers, okay? So the idea is that you mix them, use the present, the, the preterito perfecto with them to express what I have done and what I haven't done yet, okay? Vamos a mirar las respuestas. Entonces tengo, ya ha planeado clase, because you are talking about me, that is to say she, ella, ella ha. Entonces, aún no ha hecho ejercicio, ya ha limpiado, ojo, possessive of her, su cuarto. Todavía no ha calificado las tareas de sus estudiantes. Ok, guys, this was all for today. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And let me know in the comments what have you done these days. ¿Qué han hecho o qué no han hecho todavía? Please let me know in the comments. I will be reading them and answering to you. Thank you so much. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.